from NBC News World Headquarters in New York. This is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. I'll be back with a doctor's prescription that's an example of what works. What Works, brought to you by Lipitor. A lot of the news we end up reporting each evening is about things that aren't working. So all this week, we're taking time to focus on things that actually do work. Tonight, we begin with a program that's helping children learn to enjoy reading and encouraging parents to participate. The prescription comes from a Boston pediatrician working primarily with low-income kids. And it turns out helping both body and mind is a good example of what works. Here's NBC's Rahema Ellis. Oh, you're doing very well. Thank you. Oh, this one looks great. A visit to Boston Medical Center's pediatric clinic. Okay, can take a deep breath. Attaboy. Where physical health and early literacy go hand in hand. Brown bear, brown bear. We learned a long time ago that many of our families did not have books in their home, and we just started giving it to them. Dr. Barry Zuckerman started the Reach Out and Read program geared toward low-income children. Do you like this book? At every visit, children from six months to five years old get a book from their doctor, and parents learn how to make the most of them. Like that? What I do in the office is actually give the book and then model for the parents sometimes about how to read to children at different ages. Like 17-month-old Devin Ellis. <laughs> oh, you don't know, take it away. And his six-year-old brother DeAndre, who's now reading above grade level. What does this say? Mouse house. Mouse on house. Very good. Sometimes I can't afford to buy books myself, so it's great to have these free books. Dr. Zuckerman's idea has taken off. It's called a yig. Today, there's a reach out and read program in every state. 18 years and nearly 20 million books later, reach out and read is proof that reading to children at a young age makes a difference in school success. Studies show kids in the program score four to eight points higher on vocabulary tests giving two-year-olds an approximate six-month head start developmentally. My goal, ultimately, is that giving books to children at visits will be as routine as giving vaccines. Go ahead. A prescription for early childhood literacy, one book at a time. Yay! Rahima Ellis, NBC News, Boston.